Coco is purring on your back. The rise and fall of your. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Collins. Please have your seat. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, sir. And you? I'm doing okay, and I can see you've been taking good care of my daughter. Her happiness is what makes me happy. She is a kind lady, sir. She deserves all the happiness she gets. She means the world to me, the only daughter I have in the world. I know she means the world to you, sir. She also means a lot to me. Don't hurt her, Collins. I'm not capable of hurting her. She should also not hurt me. She will not hurt you. She's a lovely lady. You raise her well, sir. Did I? <laughs> I tried my best. It wasn't so easy raising her all alone, son. You could have remarried then. She wouldn't have liked the idea. She was clinging on to me back then. She didn't want to see me with anyone else. Not until she grew up and then she started telling me to get married. So I won't be lonely. Wow. Yeah, I got married because of her. And I got married to one of the most lovely women in the world. God blessed my path. Yes, indeed, sir. Don't mind me talking on something else. When you came here for a job. It's no problem, sir. I enjoyed our conversation. Good morning, lawyer Kennedy. Are you following me around, Jessica? I'm not following you around, Kennedy. Why would I do that? I came here this morning to get something. I will eat. And I saw you. So you come around here often? I do. What about you? Whenever I'm at Orange City, I love to take my breakfast here. Their food are tasty. I love it. But I can make something more better. I never pictured you as a cook. I cook a lot while my husband was still alive. I made his food most times. That's good. Although there are maids around the house. Yeah, but they don't cook most of the times. Sorry on everything that happened to you. We can still continue our conversation, Kennedy. Is this still that conversation on me changing stuffs? It's on you helping me out. Please, I need your help. I already told you the wishes of your late husband. Late, you say. Meaning is dead and no one will know anything. Mom. Jessica is the name lawyer, Kennedy. Let's make this work out, please. It is beautiful, Vivian. Yes, I'm the one. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm good, and I don't need to ask you that question. I can see you are fine, so. I am. Welcome back to the office. Am I really back? Do you even need me here? Oh, yes. You are needed here. The job gets really taxing most of the time, Vivian. But you're more than capable in carrying it out. That's something I don't doubt. <laughs> okay, but you are needed here. I'm not needed here, Jeff. You are here. Can they really be too MD? You are MD1. No, I'm not. Because I don't see any of that title in either of our offices. It's just managing director on both offices. Your dad's idea. He's trying to push me to the edge so I can come back. Is it working? No, it's not working out, Jeff. I don't have any issue with you being here. I'm happy instead. At least, I know now that I can do whatever I want to do at home. What do you even do at home? So many things. I am making plans on running a beauty store. Wow, that's nice. I think Mina has mentioned it before. I'm trying to build a store and so far we are moving well. Congratulations. Thank you. That's where most of my money goes to. I'm trying to make something out of myself without my father. He must be proud of you. He doesn't know about it yet. Not until I'm done. You are the second person I've told this aside from Mina. My lips are sealed. So how was the visit to her aunt's place? I wonder how Sira is doing. I hope she is fine. She hasn't even called me since she left town. She must be really mad at me. She was a good woman to me. But I don't think I ever truly loved her like I ought to. I didn't. The only woman I've ever loved with all my life is Jessica. She's the one I really love and desire to be with. But Sarah also didn't deserve to be treated the way I had did. She also deserves to be loved and taken care of. She's a good woman. I should call her and see how she's doing. Let's hope she even takes my call. So, I've gone through your CV and I've decided you work on the second floor. Second floor? Yeah, what do you have to say? Thank you very much, sir. That's not what I'm asking you to do. Good morning, daddy. So, you decided to show up at work today? You don't need me here, dad. You've got a very effective MD. You're still needed here. You've always complained that the work is too much, so I go and help in hand for you. Jeff will do fine, but if you need an extra hand, I'm willing to let Collins have my position. Collins, you know what? Go to your office and work. What about Collins? Where is his office? Second floor. Just go there and meet the secretary. She will direct you to your desk. Thank you, sir. Second floor? Come on, Dad. We discussed off floor here. He doesn't have the skills or credentials to be here. 
Daddy, I know a lot of people in this office who are here only because of connection. Well, most of them are not doing serious jobs here. Tell me something, is Jeff worthy of the position he is or not? He is worthy of it. What about you? Do you deserve to be the MD of this company? I don't start, but that's because I'm lazy. Other than that, I'm worthy because I know what I'm doing and how it works. Okay. You don't agree with me, Dad. Sarah, I'm in the bathroom. I'll be done soon. You're always late. Your phone is ringing. I bet it's auntie calling again to check on how I'm doing. Please pick it and tell her that I'm fine. I'm not killing myself over anyone. <laughs> okay. What the hell? It's Pedro. Why are you calling my sister? What is wrong with you? Yes, this is Mina. I'm the one. You stupid good for nothing man. Cheetah. You are even still talking. Are you out of your mind? Calling my sister Zaina after what he did to her, putting her through all this emotional and physical abuse. Keep your story to yourself. What do you want from her? Why are you calling? Why? You are a very useless man and you will suffer, Pedro. You suffer for this wicked act he did to my sister. Shameless man. Stupid man. See, the next time you call this number again, you wait what will happen to you. Who was that? Take your user self out of this line. Go. Call this number again and see. Who was that, Mina? Who are you insulting on my phone? You can help me out, Kennedy, please. I don't want to do something like this. I don't. Look at me here. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Yes, I am. And it's his own. I told him a day before he died. I didn't know you were pregnant. I am. The baby is for my husband. How can I use just 10 million to take care of myself and the baby I'm expecting? How? I... If you want to run a DNA test with my late husband to prove this, no problem. But I deserve his property, not a son that has never been there for him. Please help me, Kennedy. I beg of you. I don't have anything. I don't have money. Nothing. And I was never greedy with him. I didn't even want to marry him. He made me to marry him. The office isn't bad and the pay too is okay. I have to start from here, but I know in no time I'll be up. Hey baby, your office is nice. Yeah, it is. Thank you for this Vivian, thank you. You're welcome. And stop thanking me. It's nothing really. Maybe to you, but to me it's something. I wish do that I'm up and not here. I've already spoken to my dad about it. What did he say? He said you will get to the top soon enough. He just wants to see how well you will do here before he moves you up. I will put in my best here and I know that you will be up soon. Maybe at the empty office. You will definitely get there with me by your side. I have to get to work. Enjoy your day. I will also be in my office. I will see what I can do there. Good idea. I love you baby. I love you mom. Who was that Mina? It was a good for nothing fellow. Pedro, he called me. Yeah, he called and he wanted to apologize to you but I insulted him. So, you could finally call me. Maybe he realized his mistakes. I don't think so, Sarah. He hasn't. I need to call him now. You shouldn't have talked to him like that. Don't call him. Why would you want that? Because my heart still yearns for him. I still think about him now. Oh my god. I know. It's not what you want to hear but it's the truth. He may want to apologize and tell me to come back to him. So if he tells you to come back to him, will you? Me now. You won't call him, Sarah. Don't do that, please. It's tell you you remember. Have you forgotten everything you went through because of him? It's the family cause. I don't think so. Pedro is just being himself like a lot of men out there. I want to have a man in my life like you and Jeff. I want to get married, me now. I know, but that doesn't mean you have to be desperate about it. Going back to Pedro is a big no, Sarah. You won't do that. I will not let you. Dress up. Let's go and shop for my wedding gown, please. Who owns this? Matthew. Hello, Uncle Jacob. Matthew. Yes, Uncle. It's Matthew. I'm the one. How have you been, son? Where are you? Are you around? I'm not around, Uncle. I'm still in England. Okay. How is England? Fine. I got your messages and voicemails. I've been so busy to respond. Okay, no problem. Your mom is dead. Your dad? He's not my dad. He's Carl. Carl too is dead. That is good. I just got to confirm if he's really gone. Yes, he's gone. Okay. How's Vivian doing? I saw her calls as well. She's fine. I'll call her too. Well, I just called to say hi. When are you coming on? I don't know, Uncle. I don't know. They will? 
I don't want to talk about all of that now, please. I just call to say hi and to let you know that I'm doing fine where I am. Today was fun. I enjoyed myself. Yet, this is really make up your mind. I'm going to do that with Jeff. I already sent him the pictures of the ones I like. Okay. I'll be going over to his place once I take my bet. Have fun, sis. I want to call Pedro back to hear what he even has to say. I will call him. Hello? Hello, Pedro. Sarah, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. You called earlier. Yeah, I did. You do give me now the phone to insult me. Why did you call me, Pedro? I just wanted to check up on you. See how you are doing, if you are fine. Yes, that is why. And to also tell you I didn't mean to hurt you in any way, Sarah. I really didn't mean to do that. That's just it. Sarah, what else do you want me to say? Please, tell me. I don't know if this is all you've got to say, okay? That's about it. And good luck with your life. I don't need your good luck. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm really sorry. I wish we didn't have to go this way, but... I shouldn't have called you. What was I even thinking of calling him? The lawyer ought to be out by now. He's taking too long. You're still waiting for me. I told you that I have all the time in the world, didn't I? You should have gone home to rest with your condition. I'm going to be fine waiting. I'm fighting for the future of my child. What you're asking of me is going to be quite hard. I know it's hard, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. It's... It is possible, Kennedy. Everyone has a price. Carl stated it in his will. You just have to tell me your price. You are the lawyer, Kennedy. It doesn't matter. It matters. My license could be revoked and I will face legal consequences. It won't happen. No one will know. They can know. Look at Mr. Jacob. Well, if it will be a problem, we will find a way around him. Just first agree to help me with this. Please, I beg of you. Matthew. I don't know any Matthew. Do you know him? You don't as well. It doesn't exist. It was well today. It went well. How was your day? It was very fine. That's good to hear. Collins came by the office and he got a job already. Really? Yeah, but not at the top floor. That's good. We should start from Gladra. If he proves himself well enough, he and Vivian can be in charge of the company in the future when I'm gone. What about me? You know what you have already, Glory. I don't know. You have a lot of things, Glory. So many other things. A lot of them. Me or your baby? How is your buddy? How's the baby? I've been... I thought you wouldn't see me now. I've been really busy. That's what I've been asking. But I know you're fine, right? It's too busy for you to remember your baby. Not intentional, Glory. Believe me. You and our baby are what's on my mind. Baby, you are meant to be making this food. Am I? No. Baby, you've been watching me for a while. Now you should be used to it already. I am not used to it, Collins. I'm still learning bit by bit. You better come up to speed because you are going to be getting married soon. Oh, really? <laughs> I hope my dad hasn't been talking to you on marriage lately. It's too early for that kind of conversation. That means he'll be doing that to you, right? No, he hasn't. I'm just checking with you, Collins, and to let you know that there's no pressure anyway. Like, zero pressure on the marrying stuff. You're enjoying yourself this way, right? Yes, I am enjoying myself, Collins. That's good. Lucky you then, I guess. I'm coming. Watch your food for me. Your phone is ringing. It is mom. Hello, ma. Good evening, ma. Petro is kind of agreed to it. We changed the wheel. Yes, he will change the wheel, but... But what? He said he would like to get married to me. What? You are kidding, right? That's what he said, Petro. But then I told him that we should do it another way. That he will take 50% of the property. What is that? I hope you didn't agree to that, Jessica. I didn't want to agree to any of it. What kind of greedy person is he? He wants it all to himself. Exactly. But I'm thinking of something else, Petro. What is it? Because it's likely this isn't working out one bit, as far as I'm concerned. It will work out, but I have an idea on what we can do. What do you want to do now? Marry him as well? Of course not. I will not get married to him. I don't like him. I'm going to Jeff's place. Have fun, sis. Do you want me to stay back? I can stay home with you. No, I'll be fine. You don't look fine. Have you been crying again? Is that it? No, I haven't been crying. What makes you think that? You've been crying, Sarah. Don't tell me you're thinking of him again. I am thinking of him, Mina. Why would you call him? I called him, Mina. I just had to. To hear what he had to say. And what nonsense did he have to say? 
Nothing useful. I shouldn't have even called him. I wish I had listened to you and not call him. Stop crying. He told me he just wants to check on me to see how I am doing. Can you imagine that? He's a stupid fellow. You should have ended the call on him then. He didn't even want me back. He called to say sorry and wish me good luck in my life. You shouldn't have called him. See, forget about him. What did I even do to him? Like what? Stop thinking about all of this. You didn't do anything to him, Sarah. He's the one who has done something wrong to you and will suffer for it. He has to suffer for this, but still, need to understand why he did this to me. You don't need to understand anything, Sarah. Yeah, Amina. You should get going. Jeff must be waiting for you already. I don't want to go to Jeff anymore. I want to be here with you. No, no, no. We are going to go and meet Jeff. Why didn't you off the fire? I'm just wondering who is my mommy on your phone. My mom called. I thought it was your mom as well. Reason I picked your phone. You picked my phone. Why would you do that? So who is the person you saved as my mom? Why would you pick my calls? Why would you? Who was the lady that called you Collins? Who did you save as my mom? Why would you take my calls? Who is she Collins? Why would you pick my call Vivian? When did you start doing that? Answer the question I asked you Collins. I'm not going to answer any question. What gave you the right to take my calls? When did that kind of question start? When? Did you just say nonsense? Really? Yeah, you know what? You liar, you cheat. That's one of your lovers, right? Yeah, that's one of them. I knew it that you couldn't be trusted. I knew it, Collins. How can she pick my calls? When did that start? My love. Good evening, baby. How is she doing? She's fine. I didn't want to go out anymore, Jeff. I wanted to stay with Mita. Is everything not fine with her? She says she's fine, Jeff. But I don't think she's okay. She will spend all of her time crying in there, thinking of Pedro. Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. Did he even reach out to her? I'm sure he didn't, right? He did this morning and I sorted him, but she called him by herself. What did he tell her? Apologize or what? You wish he would apologize. Well, he didn't apologize, Jeff. He called out to say good luck. What? Yeah, you had me right. That's what he called out to tell her. Can you imagine that? That is stupid of him. Yeah, and she was the one who called him. She should have listened to me and not called him. You must feel sad about this. But this is what she also need now, Mina. To be able to get herself back, knowing that she doesn't mean anything to him. This should make her pick herself back to her feet. I really hope so. I do. So, are you coming with me home, or you are going to be with Sarah, consoling her meanwhile, also stopping her from making up her mind to let go of Pedro? Hello, Glory. Collins. I'm sorry I wasn't there when you called me. Who picked the call? Was it began? Well, she was the one who picked the call. Mama, they have been scared of even calling her. Forget about Vivian, she is acting all jealous. She must think there is something going on between us, because the way I sounded. How did you sound? Tell me. Hello, my love. How would I say that? You are not my love. I must have caused an issue now. Forget about Vivian. I want to see you, Glory. I called you to tell you to stop calling my phone. Call me. So you just let me be calling. Stop disturbing me. Glory. I don't want to hear you or anything you want to say. Just stop calling me. So you want to take him out? That's kind of like the only way for all this to work out. Doesn't make any sense to me. I don't want you killing anyone else. How then do I get him to give me the properties? How? I don't know. Maybe we weren't meant to get these properties in the first place. I can't lose Pedro. I don't want to. All of this looks like you've lost already to me. I can't lose Pedro. I need to get this property. What would 10 million do for me? It can do something for us. We'll be able to go far from here with the money. Or we start something here together. A business, something. I can't start with that, Pedro. I want something big. When I got married to him, I had my goals. And now that I'm meant to be getting them all. Look at me, Petro. Still struggling to get them. I can't lose here. I must get the property. So how do you intend to do it? The only option I have is the one year. And you're saying no. You want to kill him, Jessica? Think of something else. 